guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 59 Chad Gable and Jason Jordan, aka American Alpha. I got mine on ringsidecollectibles.com, as can you, and you could save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout on all your current and future purchases, and it supports yours truly, so thank you as always. Um, I was pretty excited to get these, especially the Chad Gable, as it has an all-new uh, head scan that looks a lot more like him than his last scan did, and uh, it's just nice to have a uh, new elite to them with the SmackDown tag titles, so if you ever missed out on those before, you can get them now with them, and each of them comes with a display piece to build the artwork by Rob Schamberger, as you can see here and here. So here you have Chad and Jason Jordan. So looking at Chad on this side of the box has his name, picture of him there. And then there's the back of his, Jason Jordan, his name, image of him, and on the back. So it just talks a little bit about both of them with some information and statistics about them. Also in the set is Finn Balor, Kurt Angle, Zack Ryder, and The Miz. So check out all my reviews of those guys as well. And that being said, let's take a look at them fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have Elite 59, Jason Jordan, and Chad Gable fresh out of the packaging. Overall, I'd say they're pretty good figures. I'm a little on the fence about some of the paint apps on them. Honestly, especially Jason Jordan, which I'll show you. Um, but the figures are still very nice. It's cool to have them from their uh, tag team title run, so to speak, as they both come with the SmackDown titles, obviously. Um, but I do really like this Chad Gable. It's probably his best figure to date, as the scan looks a lot more like him. And I really like the headband accessories. I don't remember if his last Elite had that or not. Um, but anyway, I want to show you the artwork of them first. So this is the artwork by uh, Rob Schamberger. So as you can see, you collect them all and you can connect them. And uh, yeah, it should go like this, sorry. So you can see how the pieces connect. And then once you collect everybody, obviously, you build a whole mural. So it's really cool, it's great for display. Great artwork, as always, by Rob Schamberger. And I'll show you the SmackDown title, one of the SmackDown tag titles, so you can see that. So the detail on these are really great, as always. I just love the plates on these. I love the silver. I think it pops really nice with the blue uh, strap. Just the contrast is really nice. So you can see the detail on all the side plates there. And if you never had any of the belts, they have holes on one side, notches on the other. And then you just size it accordingly, like this. And you can fasten it. As you can see, it's a different rubber now, to be honest. Just kind of a bit of a pain to fasten these things. So, but there you go. You can see it fastened there. So just be patient with them. So that's the SmackDown tag titles. First a look at Jason Jordan. So here's the same scan for Jason. Um, the paint apps I don't like, as you can see, is his arms are different colored from his chest. Because his chest was uh, hand painted while his arms and head and legs and whatnot are all molded in that color so it does in certain lighting it, you could see it stands out so in here you could totally see the difference um, but besides that the detail in his singlet is really really nice it's very cool it's uh, all gold on the back as you could see but very detailed here and he's got his red shoes as well which not a lot of detail sorry the camera's acting up. Let's see if it'll focus. There you go. Nope. Sorry. There you go. So you can see his red shoes. Not much detail at all. Um, and I don't remember what his shoes looked like from that match either. But, um, so the figure's not bad. Could be better. And then lastly, look at Chad Gable really quick. So here's Chad's new skin. It looks just like him. His headband is removable too. He's got two little, like, holes in his hair here. So you could just slide it on and tuck it into his hair like that. And then it just rests securely on his head. So it's really cool. This skin looks a lot like him. And uh, his attire is very detailed, just like Jason Jordan's, which is great. His torso is also painted different from his arms, as you could see. So like I said, in certain lighting, you could tell. Um, but besides that, the attire is gold in the back as well. And then he's got his boots with the details and the socks as well well and the stars and whatnot so 
This figure is really nice. I like it more than the Jason Jordan. They're both great. If you missed out on their other elites from Walmart, which I know were tough to get in the beginning, and uh, if you just want the SmackDown tag titles, be sure to pick them up as well. We could get them both on ringsidecollectibles.com and save 10% with discount code MBG at checkout. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.